So I just wanted to make a video to show you how we're going to access the Seesaw activities every day um, for our class. So what we're going to be doing after you have logged into Seesaw, when you first log on in every day, you will see this is just your feed. So these are things that we've done in the past or things that I've shared in the past. Um, would be there you could scroll through there but what's important is every morning I will post the new activities for the day so we're going to start with just one activity for the day but as we get used to it I will post a separate activity for let's say reading and a separate activity for math so you might have one you'll have one for now but eventually we might have two or three per day but if you look here, we know there's a new activity or something new that we need to look at because there's a number one. And if we look over here at the light bulb, we see activities with a number one. So we're going to click on it. And we see here, I'm going to label them Wednesday daily activity. I'll put the date. But this is the first one that we're going to do actually um, on next Wednesday, April 1st. It's gonna We're going to spend the first week the first Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just kind of figuring out how this all works before we really kind of practice some real stuff. So what you want to do every day is we've got some directions here and it says one, click on the photo and open view original first. The original will open a different tab. You need the original open when you watch videos. So right here is the photo. Click on this and you see it says view original. Just click on it and it opened into another tab and the reason we want this is because each one of these is a page that you're going to work on but the original some of them have a link that you click on and you're going to want to come here to click on it so for now you don't really need it just keep it open and then go back to right here where it says seesaw you can hit the x and just keep this the link is still open right here in the tab and then go to two. Click on add response, which is this green button. You're gonna go through each slide and follow the directions. So I've clicked on it. Now what I can do is I can, basically I can write on this page, I can mark on it, um, I can record things, I can take pictures and add it, and we're gonna get to that kind of stuff too, but today we're just gonna do some practice. So. It's the beginning of our week. Happy Wednesday. So I've got a little message for everyone. We know Wednesday is hump day. We have over here um, just kind of a little message you can read. If you look over here, we've got one, two, three. So what you want to do is click on each one and just kind of go through it. And so right here, how does this work? I promise you can learn how to do this. These are some things that are important to know. One, you'll go through each slide. Use the pencil. We've got pens, we've got highlighter here, this little fan fancy glow one, here's an eraser. All this does is kind of just put a box around your screen so you see exactly what your area is that you can mark in. Um, text boxes over here, you can record, you can take a photo, and we're gonna come to this in just a minute. So you're gonna use these to complete each slide. If you need to stop before it's done, totally okay. You might not get it all done at once in one day. You can, um, at one time, you can come back to it later after you take a break or after you eat lunch. It says click the orange draft check mark. So we're gonna show you how this works. You just hit draft. It's gonna upload it. And look, it's paused. You haven't done anything. You can come back to it later. And the only visible, visible means you can see it, to me and you. So let's say you've taken your break, you came back, you ate your lunch or whatever you were doing, and now you're ready to finish your slides for the day. So if you just come, right when you log in, you see it's right here, it's ready, hit edit. It's gonna take you right back to where you were. So to get through your slides, you just come back over here. So orange draft is for, you just need to Come back to it later and finish it. Or the green check mark is when you have everything all done and you have completed the very last slide, so you are all done. So we don't really have anything to do on this. Sometimes a slide might be something I'm teaching you, something you're learning, um, but sometimes you're going to need to work on your slides. So if we click on number three, the next one, do you have a smile or frown to share? 
Um, this is something we do every day in our class. And it says here, use the pencil or text box tool to share on this page right here. So you can use the pencil and you could write with the pencil, I have, you could write, or maybe you're like, hmm, writing's a little bit tricky for me, I'm not sure. So what you could do is a text box here. If you go over here to this T and you can type, I have a smile because today is sunny. And then after you type it, you can move it around. Oh, let's click on it and move it around. It's being kind of funky. There we go. It clicked off and now. So I could move it there. And I can go back and I can erase this pencil from earlier because I decided I don't like the pencil. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to the next slide. And I've written a little message for the students here. The next slide, how are you feeling? I'm in the blank zone. Well, today I'm feeling pretty good. So I can either use my pencil and I could click on a pencil or even my little marker here and I could write it in if I want or me personally, I just like the text box. But I feel like that's kind of because I find typing easier, but typing's not easy for everybody. And look, if my box is too big, I can make it smaller to make it fit. And since I'm in the green zone, I might even want to make it green. Okay, now I am in the green zone. I am feeling, well, I need another box here. So I'm going to hit my T again, make another box. I am feeling excited. After I click off, that's when, now I need to fill this out again. So I'm just going to come back and make another T because we are learning again. And then I'm just going to click and then I can drag it around to where I want to go. I can make my box wider to fit in. Okay, so I've done this slide. So I'm going to go over here to page number five. Now this is where you see there's a link here. There's somewhere that we, I want us to watch this video. So even right here it says, make sure you clicked on view original from the activity. The original will open in another tab. So if you remember, we already have it open. We're just waiting on it. So all I'm gonna do is go back up here. This is where it was open. And I'm just gonna scroll down until I see it. And when I see it, if I click on it, it's going to open in YouTube. So give it a Welcome minute. Welcome to Read Aloud with Calgary Reads. Now, after I get done, to go back to my original, all I have to do is hit my back button. And I'm right back. Then I can watch the slide. Now remember, when you're on the original, you can't do anything other than click the link. So this is not where you're going to be able to fix your work. But just go right, click right back here to where it says Seesaw. And you've read it. Okay, so we've read it. We've read everything on the slide. We can move on. So I'm going to click over here to number six. Oh, how bored have you been? So bored. So it says, use one of the markers to circle how bored you've been. Well, I'm going to use a fancy one. And I'm going to circle bored up to my ears. Next, I've got a map ring warm up. Use the pencil or text box to fill in the answer. So, oh, this is easy. I can use a pencil here. 11 plus 6. 17. I'm just going to write it in. Okay, so each one after I write it in, I will go to the next one. Okay, let's try finding the shapes. The shapes are something we're going to need to use sometimes. So it tells you right here what to do. Here's the direction. Click on the three dots. So here's my three dots. Click on shapes. Now I've got some different shapes here. So I can use some shapes to create something here with the shape. So maybe I want to make a house. Now I just click off and it disappears and I can make my shapes what I want, whatever size I want. So I can get really creative if I wanted. And if I wanted more shapes, I could just come back to my three dots, shapes, and I'll give my house a star on the roof. Okay, so there's my shapes. Now let's go to slide nine. Okay, 
Now we're going to try using shapes with a real math problem. But we want to find, it says you will go back to shapes and find the base 10 block. So again, I'm going to go to my three dots, shapes, and I'm just going to scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, look, I've got some dots because I need to solve a math problem. So if I look here, I need to solve the math problem 153 plus 306. Or not 306, 36, sorry. 36. So I need some hundreds blocks and some tens blocks and some ones. So I know I need 100, 5 tens, 3 ones, 3 tens, 6 ones. So I'm just going to come right back here, shapes, and I'm going to scroll down. And when I click on it, it comes right there. And I need some. I kind of forgot how many I need, but that's okay. I can click back on it in a minute. And I know I need some ones. So I'll just click off because if I got too many, all I have to do is click on it. And you see these three dots? I can delete them if I want or if I got too many. Also, did you see how it said you had the dot and duplicate? Duplicate means make a copy. So I could click on that and it'll give me another one. So I need some ones, I know that, I need to make this 100 box smaller so I can actually see my problem. So my problem was 153, so I'm going to make these smaller. And I probably could have just duplicated them and it would have been better, but sometimes we're it's a learning curve for us all, right? Okay, 153 plus 36. I'm just going to make these a little. So for 36, I know I need, I'm going to try the duplicate. Let's see what happens. Duplicate. Look, there's another one. Duplicate, duplicate, 36, and it doesn't have to be perfect, but we do want to be able to see our work. So we're just going to duplicate until I get six of them. Okay, now I can look at my problem and see, oh, well, I still only have 100. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh. I don't have nine tens, I have eight tens, sorry, eight tens, nine ones. Now that I've figured out what I have, I can just take my little pencil and so write it in here. I have 100, I have eight tens, and nine ones. So we're going to be doing a lot more adding and subtracting, and this is a way we can use it, making a model with our shapes here, our, ten, our base 10 blocks, but I wanted just to practice it today. Okay, after we get done, I hit now number 10, and it says a few other must-dos each day. So each day, you have to do these things. Circle when you've completed them, then you will submit with a green check mark. Every day until we, we're going to do I Ready Reading for 15 minutes, so if I've done that, I will circle. I Ready Math for 15 minutes, circle. Once we get our 45 minutes for the week, we can do it. And I need to read to myself for 15 minutes. So once I've done that circle, I'm done and done. So I'm just going to come right here to the check mark. It's going to upload it. And ta-da. And you know it's done because this is waiting for teacher approval. So you have completed the things that we need to do for today and you can even click back through here to see what your work was that you submitted. So if you have any questions or you get confused at any time, totally okay, please let me know and I will help you. Thank you. You guys are doing going to do great.